Lucas is the one star MFI the wiki challenge with our two star Nami. Let's do this. <laughs> Nami is my weakest one. Two star six, level six. Yeah, and that's why I'm taking against the one star. We don't want to make it too uh, one sided, right? Okay. Empire Dice is nice. This one is nice. Okay. This one is actually pretty good. I will take a Haunted Tomb though. Haunted Tomb seems more decent. Ugh. This is going to be painful. Yeah, Stony Suppressor is going to be painful for the fact that our deck is a spell heavy deck and this is anti spell. One star so shouldn't be that problematic. And Name herself sucks. In terms of how slow she is, at least. Okay, we play out this. Okay. Let's play Prankster and prank the hand before they play the Stony Suppressor. Because we won't be able to get the pranks in then. Okay. Next is turn. Okay, never mind. Next is turn one. <laughs> yeah, one star suck. Let's, okay, let's not play this. Let's just swing in. Let's play this next turn. Uh, 3 plus 2 is 5. We can play this one for 5 mana. Okay, we'll just play this one. Okay, every spell we play, we get 1 mana back. I don't know how good that is, though. We'll just block it. No Sony Suppressor yet. Sony Suppressor is 2 mana, I think, right? Okay, 4. Okay. You can play Nami. Okay, let's play this first. Use our mana to manifest something. And then play Nami. So Nami, if we, okay, never mind. He, she refills the thing anyways. Okay, let's just play this. We fill our mana. Mm, just swing it then. Even if Nami takes damage, it's fine. Just go next. I think this will level her up. If I remember correctly. I'll just put this one here, yeah. I am the tide caller. I will drive back the darkness. It's fine. If they will have a loose block, it's not that great. Okay, okay, we have challenger. That's good for us. This guy has challenger, so we'll pull the elusive away. Okay. Kill. 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 Block like this, so you can kill it next turn. Never mind, I don't kill it next turn. I can do it right now. And give more spell. And so we can finish them off. Obviously, we'll play this. We'll play this. And then swing. There we go. It's a one star, so it should be too difficult, even if Nami is a little weird. I'm not gonna Nami is super weird for Pathos Champion. She, she reminds me of like TF. TF was also super weird. Okay. She's a little slow, not gonna lie. Okay. I'm gonna play this one more than anything else. Okay. Deal one, uh, draw one, deal one to all enemy and summon one enemy. Uh, this is actually pretty cool for one mana, I mean. Support squad, anything with spell heavy will take it. Vigor doesn't seem that bad here. But Vigor is super slow. Don't want that, dude. Katarina is pretty nice. Yeah, he's also very nice, yeah. She can actually accelerate the win, in my opinion. Okay. Champion attachment, an item, champion attachment, good priority. Pretty nice. Okay, let's throw these away. Okay, let's give one of them. Turn one, turn one play, turn two play. We are our pranks, so okay, two of them, super. We can just keep them until we have, yeah, Nami. That's also a good way to do it. Yeah, let's just keep them for Nami. Mm, speak of the devil. We so play this first, though. Just kill it like this. Use up our mana. So we have Nami to give us mana back. Okay. We can use this one. Kill and replace. And we get another prankster from the long run. Okay. Vulnerable. Might as well use the pranksters now. Uh, increase the cost. This. Increase the fan block. Clear this one. Get this one and now play Nami. I won't let my home be 
She levels up, right? Oh no, she doesn't level up. She's one shot. But this will level her up, yeah. I will find the moonstone. I will save my people. Yeah, it's a little con I think giving her lost chapter is not the greatest of idea. I think she should get yeah Archangel staff. Getting mana next round makes sense. Let's go next. We get a prankster. We use the prankster and then swing. Uh, to this and then swing. There we go. She is a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. Her playstyle is so different from all the others. My loved ones will be the old Nami used to be super. Ugh. Attack boosting, only boosting attack power. Okay, this one's awesome. Doesn't really give us anything good. Um, portals are much better in my opinion. We'll have units on the board at least. Champion Regiment. Support, I guess, plus supremacy. I was giving more HP to uh, Fiora. Monkey Idol. Ugh. Okay, it's level is one star, so it's not the problematic one. The higher ups have actually have region on there. Okay, they <laughs> just have one monkey. That's funny. I'll just throw these away. Have Nami. It's elusive. Passive what they do. So I'm gonna bang the mana for the time being. It seems like Nami never uses mana. Yeah, one spells, one cost spells will always refill the spell. So that's actually nutty. Yeah, one cost spells will always give them the spell. Yeah, never mind, that sucked. I just will put it in their deck. So we manifest. This one. We still actually have enough mana. Nature does not mourn. I will. Okay, that sucks. We play Nami. My people are counting on me. Let the tide carry you. She doesn't actually yeah, it doesn't help her. She's a tune herself. They should level her up. The Mirai will never know fear again. The yeah, lost chapter is definitely not the greatest of yeah. Things to put on her, but I don't actually know what would be a good thing to put on her. Yeah, you get so one mana anything is gonna be played for free. Yeah, one mana anything is gonna be played for free, but she does boost pretty well. And that should do it. There we go. I don't know if it's is it because of it being a one star or Nami is actually decent. I don't actually think Nami is decent at all. Mm. Okay, let's see what we get. More portals, I like it. In as a tactician, do we have anything of epic? We have only one common one. I don't want to throw away my epic here, so I'm gonna go for shop. In as a tactician, is something that you want in the long run. I actually want this one though. Two of them should be fine. One of this should be fine. Actually, two of this should be fine. Uh, equipment I don't really like. Challenger is fine. Yes, it's decent. I will go next. Uh, heal for two and face off against Gangplank. I think hey, this is one star. I'm gonna assume this is the weaker one. Okay, deal one to the player's nexus if the foe has damage it this round. Two. One star Gangplank doesn't even have the Gangplank power. Yeah, the one star Gangplank doesn't even have the Gangplank power. Okay. So these away. I could keep this one. This refills itself. I think the manifest one as well. Okay, there we go. That's the reason. Oh man, you got yeah, sparkle fright. That's why I also want to have one mana spells in the hand. Good blood bit. Yeah. More portals. Let's just play this one. The first time I challenge something. So challenge this, challenge this. Yeah, it gets it gets barrier. Super actually draw from the portals. Go next. No Nami. Okay. Yeah, but I don't have mana to wear anything though. Just play this one. Okay. Eight cards. Okay. Nine cards. Let's play something small. I want to finish the game this round, that's why. 
so you just do this. I can prankster the hand. Okay, one more. Okay, never mind. We don't have to pull that one. We can just pull this one. But before that, we can just do this. Nine. Oh, damn, we are one short. If I do this, how much? And uh, it gives us two. We are still short, unfortunately. Might as well just ditch the damage then. Yeah, one damage short. Eeky. It's fine. Might as well do it. We have to pull it though. They would put something in front anyways. Oh, I could have actually finished them. Oh, never, never, never mind. They would have summoned something. I think. That's very nice. We wore everything down. Okay, this one finished them off. So we'll just pull this. We'll burn something. Or well, we can finish the game off. There we go. So yeah. This deck is... <laughs> I have no idea how to comment on it. Super peculiar. 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. Yes. Okay. Portal on Name is nice. Let's give more portals. Uh, let's go to power. I think Lurker having everyone having Lurker is pretty nice. Everything's super cheap anyways. Okay. Champion Hatchman and Shop. Champion Hatchman will get priority. Because we have a lot of gold. 500 gold. So no point going to the gold side. Eye of the Dragon. We will keep Name, obviously. If we keep Name, we don't need the Prodigy. Two Names. Okay. We play it for two mana first. Get one mana back. If they play anything, we can play this. And predict. Oh, the Challenger. Okay, super. We don't need to play that then. Go next. Play this first, I guess. So we don't have to play it first. We can play it after Name. We could play this. I mean, it'll take two damage, but I'm not gonna block it. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. It gives plus one before level up. Hmm, super. Uh, I just might as well go next. I can play this finally. This is for the quest one. Okay, so I'll just do this. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Let's play this first. I want them to summon something so I can play this one. I have a quest with even even flow. Put this one. Even flow. Heal an ally. Whatever, man. Dude, uh, it, it happens at burst speed. The will what? Never know fear again. I think it, it does happen at burst speed. No, it happens. Oh, these happen at burst speed. Okay, one is fast, one is burst, one is fast. What is up with that? Okay, we got another one. Super. Will this help us finish the quest? Okay, and lose a unit for that. Yeah, it, it's, it is happening at burst speed. Weird. Until two damage to the next test. I have no idea how this this spell works. It did kill it. Super. Uh, we just play this one, and then the game freezes. Okay. Okay. You can just yeah. You can just if I wanted to finish that quest, I would just wait. Okay, we just play Fiora for sure. Okay, it's fine by us. Yeah, they're taking. They're calling the Elusive one. So we're doing seven damage from the Elusive one coming solo, anyways. Might as well do this. This is a fierce one. Can't be blocked by that one. Yeah. Oh, they can block it like that. What? How? Isn't that a fast spell? Oh, is it a burst spell? Oh, it's a burst. What? I haven't played Ionia for a while. Okay, let's just take advantage of the barrier then. Okay. Level up. Too easy. 
And we could just finish it off with this one. Ah, oh, that one doesn't make a difference. Swing and finish them off. I'm sure we get through this one now. Just swing. Okay, I got two stacks of Eva and Flo. Yeah, this, this is fast. Super bad. No. Man, I only so painful, dude. Uh, draw champion. Uh, okay, yeah, it will give us uh, it will give us a chance to play Nami spell more. Uh, always in my hand is very nice. I'll take it. Okay, champion shop. Uh, I'll take a reroll here. Give the weakest one plus super is pretty nice. It's actually nice as well, but I don't really like it. Okay, what's on the other side? Mariah's grandmother, go there. I've never actually seen that pit stop. I think that's a Nami exclusive pit stop. We'll throw this away, obviously. We get Nami back. You know, we don't have six mana spell, we don't have four mana spell. We get Nami back, anyways. Okay. Okay. This is actually pretty nice. So, bang the man and go next, yeah. Should bang the man and go next. I can play this one. Load the cost of everything in my hand. Somewhat. Okay. Load the cost of everything in my hand. Somewhat. Uh, I'll take this one. And I'll play this one. I need to block that one. For obvious reasons. Okay, so mana for something first. Mm, play this one. I play this too. Ooh, look at that dude. Then refill the mana. Pull it like this. So that this guy stays alive. She levels up. I'm really 9 damage for an elusive damage, anyways. Super. I don't want this guy to die and hit Lurk. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> under 3. Yeah, on a Lurk will hit almost everybody, in my opinion. Almost everybody. Okay, we got an army. Super. Ebon Flow is activated. Okay. I actually have no idea what this does. But I know it has a lot of copies. So I can easily stack stuff. Okay, I should have healed this one. What? Why is the last one fast? And what? It says it's fast, but it's happening burst for some weird reason. Uh, we just do this. Uh, I'll play this one then. Uh, this one. And full swing and finish on next turn. Yeah, at least we are, we are gonna finish the ebb and flow quest. I have a one on the battle pass. Or even pass, whatever you call it. See, hits everybody. Okay, no, it's fine. We still have super high attack power. I think it only hits people with two or attack power less. Super. Okay, so far so good. Hmm. I kind of like this one. Yeah, their cost will go around super. We get spells are super cheap as it is. Okay, Mariah Grandmother. Choose one. Three costs less. Mm. Reroll here, I think. <laughs> Judgment of five mana. That's your pretty nice. So now we get our hands clogged as it is. Just wait for three mana. This is pretty hilarious. Yeah, that's actually definitely a Name exclusive. Oh, which one do I don't like? Throw with it. Eh, it has manifest. Uh, it has portals. This guy has a portal. Like a troll away. Yeah. We don't need uh, sure mini morph. There's nothing big in this path that you have to worry about. Uh, we'll throw these away. One mana, three mana. It was a draw as well, so that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty nice. So. So we'll just strike, keep the mana up so we can play this and the, the things in our hand will cost one less. That's the best way to do it. Okay, stuff. Now we'll play this one. 
Now everything is one less. Critic as well. Uh, we'll go for another prankster. So this for one mana. Uh, play this. Uh, I can actually do this. Play this against this one. They don't break, they'll burn. Make the empire proud. Name is five by six. If I use this, how much? I do get one back. No, you get mana back. You don't get the air back. So let's just. Nah, let's just play this first. Play this one. Draw two cards, and I think we have enough to level her up. If we don't have enough to level her up, so we can just play this and level her up. Cost two, and that should level her up. Super. The leveling her up in this with her powers is not like super easy. Mm, manifest more. Can I make something bigger? Oh. Did that. Uh, definitely strike with this one here. Kill one here, and that should be fine. We get more. We will put more copies of yeah pranksters in the deck. Not prankster, octopus. Super. Come next. You play a Ben Flo as well. Yeah. Okay. First part is burst. Second part is also burst. Second part is also burst. Last part is not. Yeah. So last part is not. Okay. That's why I was mi mixing up because of different speeds. Okay, so just play this one. So pretty. Go next. We get our. Who did we lose? I think we use a spell. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um. Okay, let's see. If I use this one, I get. Uh, I have a chance of getting Nami back. So I can use Ebon Flow again. No Ebon Flow. Unlucky. Get this one. Silence it, right? It's running on silence again. Yeah. This one. And that should do it. It doesn't matter where we pull the elusive skill them. Super. Uh, yeah. It was a little painful, I'm not gonna lie. Painful in the sense that she's super weird. She's definitely not the type of decks I like playing. She requires too much brain power, and I lose a lot of brain cells playing these type of decks. Okay, so the one star MFI, the weekly chance done with our two star Nami. Let's see what we get. Nothing good, I think. Eee. Eee. Okay, it's Javier Chairman Power Discussion Time. Okay, so the only one attachment I have on my Nami, the common attachment because she's super low level, is last chapter when I'm summoned, refill your mana. I probably wouldn't advise you to give it because she gives her attune herself, so she gives one mana herself. So two mana attachment, ugh, I, would, I wouldn't I wouldn't take it. I would rather give her Archangel staff. Um, next one is Nora's T. Uh, game starts, plant a portal on me, and of course, far side, far side rotation means she will always be in our hand at the start of the game because if she isn't in our hand and that's why you always mulligan her away moving on to the powers give your weakest ally plus three this one pretty nice all allies have uh, all allies that cost three or less are lurkers the majority of the cards are three or less so it's actually pretty good when you play a uh, uh, ally for the first time it gets challenged that round it's nice uh haunted tomb is always pretty good it's a much better power than it looks and of course uh, you have now two star power game search you get one extra mana and game search you draw a spell whenever you play a spell you get one mana back spell mana back and that's about it Okay, so this is a two-star area path with our two-star Tom Kench. Let's do this. The weekly challenge, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> let's do the weekly challenge. Okay, let's look at the powers before we do anything. Uh, the units force of regeneration and round and grant all units plus two. That's kind of dangerous to think about. Spells costing one less lurkers and this. This is actually hilarious. I'm going to throw away Tom Kench's spell in the deck. But it's, uh, it's going to be between this. Look at how many units do I have under three mana? Okay, Tom Kench is not 3 mana. Okay, these 3 are not 3 mana. The uh, rest of them are under 3 mana. So 3 mana lurkers are not the not the worst to think about it. But 1 extra extra damage is not... The, I, I, I think I'll take a reroll. 
Actually, nah, spell cost I mean, storm can just spell cost one. So I have a higher probability of playing them in a round. That's fine. Let's let's experiment. I actually haven't played Tom Cage that much. Obviously, he's level six. So I have no idea how these works. These are gonna cost zero, but this is gonna cost two. So let's keep one of them and throw the away. Throw away the rest. Okay. Spell cost two less. It's pretty nice. We played this one. Give him support level plus one plus one. Okay, surviving ally get plus one plus one. That's actually pretty nutty. If you can get another one, that is. Okay. Uh this guy has Okay, let's play with it. This guy gives a tune, so I can actually get play this one. Okay. Can't block us. Super. Okay, if we capture it, it will contribute towards uh Tom Kitchen's level up, but we don't really wanna do that. We wanna go as wide as possible. Okay. Let's play this might as well. Okay. Fine by us. Uh what we can do is do this. Is it like the, the way that I think it is? No, it's the opposite to him. So this one captures this one. The reason why we do it because this guy has spell shield and we will full swing and they even if they have any spell they can't block us. Because the dude has spell shield and they can play for zero man as well. Super. So when we swing, they can't block us. Play it in the opposite way, but it's fine. There we go. I don't know if no Tomkins is good, but but I know his capturing capability is nutty. Okay. Mm, I don't want one damage to everything. Okay. I have plus one for each round. You don't damage the enemy nexus. I actually don't like any of them. I'll just take a reroll here. Ugh. Obliterate a follower. Hmm. But four mana is just too expensive. Okay, technically it's three mana. Three mana obliterate and draw one, I'll take it. Emergency purposes can actually work pretty well. Mm. Okay. I think Ash is perfect. We freeze and we consume. It's pretty nice. This internet is acting super weird today. Okay, healer and box to pass. Box to pass will be priority. No idea what box to pass is, though. Might as well go there. Okay, Tom can change this. We keep one of them. I keep both of them. The problem is that they're same mana. And still got them. Oh, this is actually super bad, dude. Oh no, this is super bad. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Just as I hypothesized. Yeah, we have nothing to play until turn three, I think. We turn four. And attack power goes up. Oh, dude, no. I can do this. No, super bad. Might as well just obliterate this guy. Yeah. Hopefully get something of two mana to play. Oh, no. no. Now we can play something. So we'll just play this one. Yeah. So we'll brittle still this one. And then he'll eat it. He has regen, so he gets his HP back next turn. I can play this one as well. Now I have units to play. I think I'll just play Ash. Yeah. Ash. So whatever comes on the board will get swing. Yeah, frozen. There we go. That's fine. I think I should have consumed it first and then done it. Yeah, that would have been much better. It wouldn't be that different because I'm going to consume this one now. Yeah, but the Ash and Ga Duncan just pretty nutty. Super. One more and we win anyways. Or I can just, yeah, I can capture it alternatively. The moment I do this, I level up. He levels up, I mean. Super. Yeah, Tomkins and Freeze is a nutty combo. I'm not gonna lie. Get a copy as well. Definitely wanna play some things on the board. Definitely wanna play things on the board. Yeah. 
let's flood the board up and cl like clear our hand. And everything on the board gets plus two as it is. Why is my game freezing me? It's the internet problem. Super nice. Just swing and finish them off. 31 damage. Yeah, Tomkin should, should never have problems with cards not being in their hand. Because anything that we consume, we get a copy of it. For one mana less. So that's pretty crazy. A new will rise. Yeah, he's slow, but he's capable of doing us so much naughty things. Okay, I'll take portals across the board. Yeah, this is too expensive. Seven mana. Our spells cost one less as well. Okay. Pay two hell to buy two copies of this card. Draw one. Copy me onto the same target. I don't think that applies, right? Because this is not played on anyone. I'll take one draw though. It's a zero mana, one draw, one damage across the board. I'll take it. Shop, let's get something decent. Hopefully. Oh, I actually know how well this will work. It's not even that great here as well. Uh, might as well take this one. Reading party shouldn't be that great, but I'll take it. Okay. Gold, slaughter docks, and champion attachment. We go for champion attachment. We don't need gold. We actually have a ton. We don't have a ton of gold, but we have enough. We'll never get legendary because Tom Kench is not level 10. So, you don't have to worry about saving too much gold. On average, you can buy anything of epic epic power anyways. Okay. We keep this one 2 mana and this one for 3 mana. We just need 2 mana units right now. Ca or cards you draw cost two, 1 less. Yeah, this deck seems to have nothing, not nothing. Super low units that are 2 mana. Majority on like 3 mana. As you can see. Might as well just kill it and help us draw something. It gave us a unit list. Go next. Yeah, we'll just play this guy. And might as well consume him, I think. Just play this dude. I go wherever the waves take me. So we'll just attack. If they try to block it, I'm just gonna freeze it. Super. No point trying to, try to level up Tom Kench right now because we don't have Tom Kench. I would rather go wide than they do. They are right now. Oh doom. Doom. Oh dude, dude, it's shipwreck hoarder. Yikes. I hate this fight. For obvious reasons. Yeah, Slopper Box is nice. Uh, nah. Wider is more damage across the board. Every turn we get plus two attack power anyways. I think this should do it, yeah. They don't have any ways to stop us. <laughs> there we go. The main problem of this bat, this fight. Holy shit, this is pain, dude. It's fine, we got them. Because I have lost so many games where they played a treasure trophy and got the most random shit ever. Like the things that they exactly need, they got it and they killed us. So yeah. A new will rise. Yeah, definitely want to finish the, this fight as fast as possible. Before all hell gets loose. Okay. We go for the champion side. Attachment champion, champion side. Okay. This is actually nice. This is actually nice as well. I think I'll take this one. If I don't have my Tom Kench, at least I can take out it, uh, take it out with uh, Ash. I'll take a full heal. I have too much gold lying around. I have no reason not to. And face off against Swain. If I can't buy a power in the long run, it would be because of this purchase right now. That is fine. I'm okay with it. I'm gonna keep Ash for the time being. Keep this one as well. Keep these as well. These are all free. Okay, I should have thrown this one. Definitely should have thrown that one away. Ah, oh, super. For the Empire. I'm actually okay with taking this trade. If they take the trade. Actually, I don't know. We'll, I won't take the trade. Yeah. I just do this. Yeah. Super. Nice. Super. Yeah, attack power grows over time. Hmm, box to box. This is actually pretty clutch. Ah, unlucky. Can't really do anything about that. I'm still good to okay. Play Ash. Ash's challenger. 
But if they have another grabs, they, she will die. But technically, I don't have anything better to play right now. She, this guy survives. A raiding party super. Okay, next turn is Swain's turn. Okay, Swain can't attack because of him. Okay, they're not playing Swain. Just play this girl. Okay. Okay, okay. Lock. 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 I think this is nice. This is fine. They lose everything. We have two left in our side. And these get att attack power, right? So we will kill them when the swing comes in. Yeah. Kill them. And even if it, it doesn't, we actually have heal to protect her. Yeah. Super. I don't know. Reading party was okay. Obviously, this deck won't utilize reading party as full potential, but still. Yeah. Free storm can be super nice. Okay. When I'm summoning, draw one. I'll take it. I'll give everything on Ash at this point. Why would you? Wouldn't? Why wouldn't you want to? Uh, I don't really like any of these powers. Spells cost one less. Even better. Uh, I will go for the red fight. Spells cost two less. So that means Tom Kinch's power is zero mana, and everything is almost one mana, zero mana. So we're actually looking for spells and stuff. We don't want this many, obviously. We could keep a three mana in our hand just in case we don't get something of two mana. Like the four and five. Okay, it's actually pretty nice. Three, four, five. That sucks. Definitely not a path where you want to play slow. Uh, you want to give them the chance to this. This fight is super pain. It's, it's two star. If it was three star. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take the entire damage if they swing, actually. Yeah, I'm actually willing to take the 10. There's a specific reason. If you, these dies, they give six mana spells, which I technically don't want them to get. So I'll play our Ash. Eh, it doesn't matter which one we play. Definitely want to swing. Which one are they freezing? Okay, this one she, she, she's freezing. So we'll do this. Okay, silence. I definitely want to keep this. No, no. I want to keep. I don't. I, I want to keep the spell for next round because we're gonna, probably going to play the for Damasia, and I need it when they play for Damasia. It's actually pretty nice. Okay, they're not playing for Damasia. Vulnerable to Witch Dude. That's one I'm definitely blocking. Capture on their side. Okay. The freeze is gonna be utilized against this one. This one here, and this one will This is This is actually okay for the time being. Okay. Just attack. The block. Okay, they're not blocking. Fine by us. Tomcatch got. Nah, never mind. I thought Tomcatch got hit by the thing. Uh. Okay. Okay, we can still attack with both of them, right? Okay. Which one is freezing? This one is being frozen. This. I can attack like this. Kill it. Ash levels up, and we'll play Rally and do a massive damage across the board. We don't have to play Tom Kinch. So next turn is the Freeze. So they do that, and we'll just play this. Rally. Free she will freeze it, and we'll do the damage. Full damage. Yeah, we don't have to pull anything. 21 damage. Super. That was pretty nice. This was a pretty good turn. Super turn, actually, in my opinion. Ash arrow. Okay. Okay, we can just arrow here. Okay, nah. 3 HP or 2 HP. Okay, so arrow here. Both gets frozen. This is the power of an iceborne. And we can Tomkins and consume this guy. Play this one. And consume this one. And we have double freezes next turn, so it doesn't actually make a difference. Just eat it. So that's why Freeze and Tom Cage work super well together. Play this one for heal. Okay. Nah, it's fine. We're just full swing and finish them off. Because it will get fr uh, frozen by Ash. 
So just swing and finish them off. Okay. What is that? Emperor's Emperor's deck. Okay, inform a copy of it, so. <laughs> ah? Okay. Can't really do anything about that, but this is still dies, so it's fine. AI with AI shenanigans. Dude, if this is like a higher level path, I can assure you I would have been bodied, considering how late I was on the board. If this was the fight from the Galios path, yikes. Okay. Costless. I'll take it. More copies of these. Problem with that card is that it's tempo disadvantage. Take a haunted tomb here. Go to the shop. Man, get rally every round or something. Stun the strongest enemy. Even better, in my opinion. This one is actually nice as well. I think I can actually use this. Interactive spell is going to be useful for us. And take three of them. We have no way to interact. Okay. Champion attachment and spells. Obviously, champion attachment is a priority. We are a little low on HP. And I don't think I have revives on us. But this is nice. This is actually fine. I'll take it. Boosting capability, freeze, and one damage to everything. It's gonna cost three. Super. Okay. Our attacking turns, so we'll just play this one. So we'll just attack. Okay, I can just do this. I don't wanna do I don't wanna use freeze. Freeze has higher value than uh HP boost. Way, way higher value. Five HP. Uh I don't know how to do anything. I can actually just play this one. If they attack, we'll just freeze. Okay, they're not attacking. I don't know. I don't know if it's AI smart or the AI knows what's in my hand. Okay, 25 damage to face. I think that's actually a pretty good one. 22 damage to be exact. 26 damage, super. 326 damage. Why wouldn't we take it? Smack that dude. <laughs> this guy is gonna go to 84. Super. Mm, just go next. Bang the mana. Stun the strongest enemy, so we don't have to worry about that one. There's blood in the water. Okay, just go next. Yeah, and that should do it. Uh, we can just obliterate this one. Okay, this is fast speed, so we don't have to do it. We can just do this. Nice. 100 and something something. 64, I believe. 74. Ooh. Yeah, even with the Tom Kenji and uh, Ash, we did well there. Uh, I can like it. Even a copy of itself is pretty good. No, I mean, pace for itself is pretty good. Okay. Pace for itself is super. I think this is way better than that one. Yeah, put everything on Ash right now. Okay, we come here and take a full heal. I mean, why not? Because we're facing off against a two-star earlier. And we don't have any... Okay, we don't have any revive as well. So be super careful. Yeah. A uh, the Strongest Enemy will help us a bunch. And we have interactive spells like the Snapping Strike. And we are much in a much better spot. Okay. She's been playing for free, so we can actually keep both of them together. Because she can be played... Uh, both of them can be played on the same turn. On turn four. Turn three to be exact. Hmm? It's actually clutch. I have something to play on turn one. Okay, I can actually do this. Let her die and play this one. Kill that one as well. Play this one. Kill that one as well. Ah, super. Got our yeti on the, on the spot. And I got a home and hawk. Okay, our attacking turn. Oh, what a great turn. Can have Simmer Strike ready as well. If they play, yeah. Which they will. And we will also do the same. So we'll just smack it with her. This is the reason, only reason I took the Simpering Strike for interactive capability. Okay. We don't have to technically block it. But our surviving allies get plus one, plus one. They can play Ash as well as Tom Kinch. How nutty is that? We play Ash for free. Faster than my arrow? I think not. And then we play Kench. We, we freeze it. The time 
consume it, and then swing. For maximizing damage across the board. And then swing. Oh damn, 27 damage. Super, like yeah, actually one of the best support squad for Kench. You have pretty good attachments as well. After recalling, doesn't make a difference. Okay, they do get their yeah back. If I remember, yeah. Okay. Uh, we just do this here. Sur surviving ally gets plus one plus one. It's fine. Play this one. Oh, raiding party. Oh, raiding party. Super. And this swing should finish them off. Yeah, Kench is actually hilarious. He has super board control. The problem is his board control is unit focus, so that's a little painful. Especially his early, his early game sucks. Anyways, but we did pretty good. I think it was like an A level at least, yeah. The two-star area path, the weekly challenge done with our two-star Tom Kench. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Okay, A. Champion is part of the discussion time, so it's, uh, Ash is our support squad. Uh, she came with a serrated Dirk, giving her fearsome, then a challenger, She's which, which is very good because she freezes something so she can always kill it. She can always kill the thing that she freezes. Of course, giving her a Philosopher Stone, giving when she summon her, you get you get one extra draw. And of course, it's the mo most important one, was crazy one. Mana deposit means when you sh ever she summons, she refills the mana equal to her cost, which is equal to 4 mana, because be which basically means that she is played for free. Moving on to the powers, uh, hold it, meaning strong Sun, the strongest enemy at the start of every round, absolutely crazy because uh, Ash is the free stall deck, and now you have a stun synergy. And Tom Kench wants to be played slowly so they can consume stuff on the boss. So these two combined together is pretty nice. Haunted Tomb is always a great, uh, not a great, but it's a good power to get, even if you don't know if it's good or not. It's it's better than it looks. It helps like this equalize a little bit of tempo if you lose a unit at the start and if you lose a champion you get it back so it's pretty nice two spells cost two our spells cost two less so that's pretty nice and a raiding party is okay not the greatest but it was decent in this uh uh deck at least in this entire path decent of course this is ashes uh not ashes King tom can just two power every game starts you grow an extra mana and whenever you capture a unit regardless if you capture the enemy unit or you capture your own unit create a copy of it in hand it costs one less pretty crazy if you consume something for one mana it'll go turn to zero mana in ha in hand so it's pretty nice and of course and whenever an ally summons damage or whenever i summon damage whenever i suffer his damage it gets plus one plus one and that's about it Okay, so this is a 4 star, 4.5 star victor pad, the weekly challenge with our 3 star Kaisa. Let's do this. Yeah, I tried this with 2 star mastery and I got bodied after the first fight. So taking a 2, uh, th 3 star into the battlefield. Okay. I don't think we do nexus damage that much. Absorbity sucks. Okay, we'll take a reroll here. Damage we do the thing reduces their cost by 1. Okay, this is actually not the worst. Sting officer is pretty nice as well. It gives us a loose up at the start. So we already get one keyword. Yeah, I'll take it. So yeah, our three star guys, I've never played the three star guys. I've beaten the path. I've beaten uh, Kaisa's entire path with two star. Then later on, I got her to three star. So I have no idea how three star works. I think it's pretty nice. I think let's look at three star. Oh, I should have looked at the path uh, powers. Okay, this path's mutators are enemies have the round star, the, uh, the four summons, and from a copy of the player's strongest follower that died last round. Extra 10 HP, extra one mana, extra one hand card in their hand. Of course, transfer the strongest. Uh, Transfer the player's strongest follower into a 1 1 squirrel and silence it this round. Painful. I'm not gonna lie. So, throw the, the, these two, I'm gonna keep. Okay. Keeping Kaisa is a little painful, but I will keep it nevertheless. Definitely wanna have her played on curve. Okay, got it. Yeah, super. Spell shield. Yeah, we get that one. We already have one keyword on the board. And that's the reason why I took that dude. Play this one. I'll just trade it here. The reason why I trade it is because I'm going to attack with this next turn and it can put flash bombs in the deck. Okay, never mind. I take it back. There's going to be no flash bombs in the deck. Okay, we can play this one. Okay. Definitely want to 
Move this. Take it out. Definitely want to uh, swing the tempo in our side. They're generating too much yeah, units on their side. And this is going to get transformed. Oh. Pain, dude. A 5 by 6. So they were all technically leveled up. So, okay, guys, is next round. Oh, this is 3 damage. Yeah, I think this is the right way to go. Might as well take it out. I think this will this one level us up? Yeah, there we go. Now we are evolved. You can do this. Yeah, this is informal. And next turn when Kaisa barrages, we're fine. We're gonna take the one man and go next and give this one to Kaisa. Get transformed. All as an overrun would be nice. There we go. I am not sure if this this I, Kaisa is gonna be good enough, even if she's a three star. Okay, so let's give it to this guy, and we'll take it with Kaisa's thing. The challenger, obviously, is the right one. Okay, she already had challenges. The challenger is a war horrible one to get. I should have given something else. Tough, yeah, tough would have been better. Unlucky, it's fine. It was my bad. We'll just do this. Might as well take it out. Blast fire across the board. Over will be the best one to go for. But at least our EI is on the board now. Our strongest unit is on the board. She cannot be turned into a squirrel, so that's good. Okay, there we go. So a six mana with we'll this one. Predict something. Definitely go for this one. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. I've got lots of block it like this, block it like this. Or we could just do this. Kaisa still survives, that is. And why would I trade it when I can keep a unit alive? Okay, this one should be played. So you have to one mana extra next turn. We have the five mana thing to be played first. That's fine. Yeah, we can still play six mana in this one. Take this card keywords. And just swing and finish them off. Uh, pull it with this one. 24 damage. Oh, we are one short. We pull them short. It's alright. At least they have nothing to fight with now. Getting random keywords with this squad is crazy. And or, or else that sharing the keywords that you play. That's also nice. Anything that revolves around keywords. Okay. Push up barrage. Just take it out. This is a six damage now. Yeah. Oh, we'll just take it out. Let's do this. The reason why we can do this is because next time before attacking, I'm just gonna use a spell shield. So my guy has no chance of dying. You can't stop them. No, but I can help save my people. Okay. You got trash. So yeah, we'll just do this. And full swing. Did it, oh, does he have life steal or ISO would have used it? Now she cannot be blocked or killed during the attack. There you go. There's no way to hide. Super. Absolute clutch. There we go. I think they, yeah, they still would have died even if it didn't go it if it went through. So long, Boyd. See you next time. The first fight was manageable. I won it with mastery as well. The second fight is where it got a little crazy. Okay, this gives impact. So impact is a keyword that's good. I think I'll take another. Okay, nah, nah, it gives us a portal. Portals are more important right now. Okay, let's go and see our support squad. Anything with that revolves around keywords. Okay, lurk is a keyword. This doesn't have any keyword. This doesn't have any keyword. Take another reroll here. Rumble has three keywords. But the keywords that she has, we are technically already have it. Caitlyn is actually pretty nice. And this guy has a loose up as well. But uh, yeah, but Vayne will allow you to strike again. I will take it, dude. Vayne is going to be pretty nutty. Okay. Shop. Shop. Yeah. That's clear. Okay. So I went this path. This fight is super difficult. Yeah. More than this one. Set to 2 5, yeah. I, I tried I tried this fight with Master and got bodied. I'll try it with the, uh, Kaisa. If I lose with Kaisa, then you understand this this fight is super difficult. 
They stack up mana too fast. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna okay with this. Did they even get the keyword? Yeah, we did. We did get one, one, one by six, so it's fine. Uh, I'll get one equipment. In this timeline, we're sure to save Ikathia. See what I've learned? Just back. That's fine. They stack up mana too fast. That's the, that's the what creates the biggest problem here. Oh, keyword super. I just have to play something that will block that one, right? I can block this one and this one as well. Might as well play Bane then. Those who kill innocents are no more than babes. Create up our squirrel. Next. Every round we get a keyword. Let's see if I guys are seeing. Play this one. I was born in Pelvet. I cannot leave. When they have the same HP, they don't actually do that. It's my nice. That's it. Okay, what can we do? We should go for. Can we go Nana? We don't have the yeah, firepower. Might as well give this one to Bane. Okay. Do this here. Purified. Go against Bane. She's growing pretty well. This guy has overall so The guy has leveled up. I think. Yeah, there we go. We bought super. Smell that barg beer. They can't there's zero point for playing this one this round, so we just play this one. I mean if she had gotten quick attack, dude. Okay, play this one. You wasters came a long way for a whooping. Yeah, if she had quick attack, dude. If the swing, we're okay with it. Yeah, they're not swinging. Yeah, that's the reason why this this squad is way stronger than mastery. Is mastery's major majority of this is revolves around mastery. Friend or foe, answer me, friend. Their every move just makes me stronger. Super. There we go. Fine by us. So let's see the uh, keywords that we definitely want to take. Faded is pretty hilarious. Suits a quick study. Oh my god, the number of barrages she's gonna fire herself and the number of damage we're doing it because of their elusivity as it is. Uh which one do you want to take out? Uh, this one can get barraged. The lowest HP gets barraged. So we can do this one here. Even then it's pretty nutty. 20, 28 damage coming from elusive alone. Yeah, definitely a strong deck now. Okay, now we just do this, and that should end. This is the only reason I took Vayne. Because she can rumble, tumble, attack again. I'm coming to you. Ha! There we go. Super. Yeah, what a destructive combo. And we got it on the best fight possible, this one. Oh, I've only made it at this fight. Oh, true. Yeah, so anything that has keyword synergy will take it. Okay. Round start gets gives fearsome as well. Okay, this is actually pretty hilarious. We're not turn nine is too late. This guy gives extra mana. This is pretty nice. Okay. Solitary monk and shop shop with good priority. Let's see what we can get. Uh reducing the attack power by the damage we do. It's pretty nice. Barrage hits multiple units. Uh okay. This gives quick attack. This possesses a unit doesn't help. Okay. And level upping up gives plus two everything. I will take just one of this. Nothing too nothing too crazy. If you get it, we get it. And waste poach uh poach. Patch the portal bot. Yeah, for four four point five star is supposed to be a little tricky. If it was super easy then it would be you know pointless. Okay. Play this one turn two together. Turn three together, I mean. Okay, we just play this guy. I was born in Pelvet. I cannot leave. Okay. Oh, is that one? Summons the multiple units in one go. Uh, if they swing, I will take the trade. I think. Our, our, our attacking turn. We just might as well attack. Get a unit out of the way. Super. We can play these two together now. Okay, nine bot. Really? Okay, gear head. We just split this then. What we can get next round is we can play the Voidling. We just do this. 
Mm. I'm okay with three damage. I'm just gonna go next. I wanna bang the mana for the time being. Oh, there we go. We are evolved. So we can play this one. What did we? What did he have? He had faded. Okay, we got our vein. I think Vayne is a perfect one to play. Monster yeah, this weapon on. Okay, this free country. Do anything about that? I okay, might as well do this one here. All the vein. Start growing our vein. This one get traded there. No point. But this one can attack at least. There we go. Super. Next turn we'll just play uh, Kaisa. Actually, Ka playing Kaisa doesn't actually help that much. We don't really do much. Yeah, so let's not play Kaisa. We'll uh, prepare. Uh, we'll prepare for this turn and play Kaisa next turn. This one. The power of time. The possibilities are endless. Broke my hand. Okay. Oh, okay so good thing that they are swinging. We can actually take the trade now. Block like this. Uh, block like this. Block like this. Block like this. Block like this. Super. Gives us space for next turn as well. And we can double attack with uh, Tumble and uh, Kaisa. Well, next. Who has the highest number of keywords? Obviously, Vayne. Nice. I should have no idea how. Why is the stat, where is the stat line coming from? Every move just makes me stronger. She doesn't have Elusive though. We play this one here. I'm learning. Okay, now that they, they played that, we tumble first. Take out stuff. Take out stuff from the board first, and then we'll swing again with the whole squad. There's no way to hide. Okay, twelve damage. And lower the attack power as well, and then swing again. Nah, nutty dude. Super nutty. And next time we get tumbled, we can do it again. Oh, never mind. If we go next turn. Yeah, super. Perfect support squad, in my opinion. Yeah, it's super easy to know the cards that you've taken in the deck is good or not. When you finish a fa fight super fast. Okay, I strike the strongest and the weakest. Seven mana is a little expensive. This guy's challenger. It gives us, yeah, this is this is much better. One mana challenger, four mana challenger. Which one would you? It has scout though, dude. It has scout. <laughs> Super tempting, but it clashes with Kaisa. Kaisa comes to turn five. This comes to turn five as well. I'm gonna take challenger, dude. Faster evolve is more important. Take a gold. Go to a shop. Buy something decent. Chronobic is not the greatest. Enemies have minus one. It's okay. I'll take it. Not the greatest, but it's fine. This one is nutty in my opinion. Plunder Echo Street is also pretty crazy. It should be nice. She wanders too expensive. I'll take one of this. This one is nice and all, but again, five minutes too expensive. I'll take this one as nah. Spending too much gold. Okay. This is fine. Fighting is decent. Yeah. Anyways, that minus is not the greatest, but it's okay. I'll keep all of them. It's nice. silenced I could play this one you uh, always want to uh, focus on getting yeah as fast as possible was the thing called evolve as fast as possible now zero attack power now super and you always want to have more than one unit on the board just split this thing we'll get priority I guess the possibilities are I won't stand by. You are so we won't block because if you block they use these things if you don't block they don't use it so it's pretty nice for us all units have evolved right all units have uh all allies plus plus tricky words allies plus tricky words gets plus plus two grant your strongest ally okay all yeah units are not yeah evolved Play this one. Monsters still lurk in Demacia's every shadow. Okay. Still fine by us. Let's give it to uh Vayne. 
Quick attacks. Uh, quick attack is nice. Spell shield is also pretty nice. If you think about it. A quick attack gives gets more priority at the moment. I evolve is here. Attacking with everything is pretty nice. Ah, this is pretty good. Super. You should be a little careful right now. Silenced. We have entered evolve, so not too worried. We just need Kaisa at the moment. One day I'll be stronger than even you, Kayan. <laughs> you just take the entire damage as always. You don't want to challenge them. Okay, they can actually use it if you try to attack with it and kill your unit. Yeah, because these are happening at burst speed. We'll do it after they use it. In case they use it and get something bad. Not the worst, but we can do this one. Get a free attack in, get some flash bombs in, and contribute towards uh, Vayne's level up. She is 2 by 4 She can be leveled up this turn. Another Vayne. I think we'll just swing at everything. Who has Challenger? Okay. Definitely take out Lee. Super. We heal back for a bit as well. Okay. I call upon the dragon. Uh, let's just predict. Okay, no, 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 no. Four plus one, five. We have exactly five, so that's fine. Then we can use it. I'll explain why I say four plus one is five. In this timeline, we're sure to save Ikatia. We do this, pain levels up, and this will become one mana. Every last monster will be purged. Okay, fine. Pain is scanning herself. Super. Just do this. Yeah. This is their second win condition. Secondly dying. Eventually, uh, Vayne will get a good keyword like elusive and stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was saying. That she will eventually get something good. Nine damage per turn is also pretty good. Okay. What do I do? Mm, I could just play hard and everything will have plus. Okay, I should have done that first and then done the strike. Definitely want to block it like this. Block it like this. Block it like this. Two damage is fine. Yeah, they can increase the thing to kill it, but it's fine by us. Four damage. We played this one. Uh, extra mana doesn't really help because we are at a point where we don't have cards in our hands, so the extra mana don't help. And she got life still as well. Let's just swing with everything. It's fine by us. Flash bomb, super. Haha, <laughs> their attack power fell by that one. Okay, fine. That's the reason why I did it like this, so that I want them to use the uh, stuns and stuff. So when we use the tumble, they can't really do anything. Yeah. They use their mana, and that should... Fin okay, that won't finish them off, but we're super close. 23 cards. Uh, we just play this one. And then this one. Vulnerable. Uh, find this one. Nice. We're slowly choking them out. Rally. We do this one. And if they don't have a stun, we technically win. We did have. Okay. One by us. Okay. 60 damage is fine. This is a boss fight. And we are okay with it. And we'll just do this now. Uh, highest damage is this one. Highest damage is this one. I think this one get traded there. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Rally, go for this one. Swing and kill this one. And this one. This should fine. It doesn't matter where you put the thing. They do get killed here. Yeah, man. Swing. So, Singer handedly carried the game. 
Yes, these are those type of like situations when you don't get your win condition, which is Kaisa. If your support squad is strong enough, they will carry you. Now to root out the next thing. Not gonna lie. Was a little too uncomfortable. The attacks for free. It's actually too super bad. Cost one less is pretty nice. Okay. Should I take a reroll and give a keyword to Kaisa? Free attacks. Is that even good? That is the question. I think I will give free attack. I can attack triple in one turn. But it's a it's a double edged sword. If something big is on the board, then we get in we get in a bad spot. But it's fine. It's Kaisa. Oh my god! Oh my god! Give it a random keyword. Holy shit! This is exactly what I was talking about. And we're making it even more tougher. Yeah, we're going a red path with red path. I think this dude will have like I don't know 40, 55 HP. Throw everything away. Random keywords. Snotty. Oh, you got two. You got, you got two. Two keywords right off the bat. 55 HP. That's not nuts. Let me play this one. Holy shit. How oh, okay, poor keywords. Super. Can be blocked. Okay, lost a keyword, so we lost the stat line. So he's gonna give elusive to that dude, so that's problematic. Might as well just take this one out. He has stuff. Yeah, he would have given it anyways. Wouldn't have done anything. Okay, now it's a little painful, not gonna lie. We gotta take 8 damage. Let's play this one. There we go. Evolved. Can't really do anything because they're elusive. But Kaisa is free attacking next turn. Right of the bat. Okay. So I'm gonna try to squirrel. There we go. Oh no, it's not Kaisa's turn. Kaisa's turn is next turn. No. Okay. Turn four. I think Vayne is pretty good. This is actually a debatable spot. Yeah, regardless of what I play, I can only play one. Vayne can get super killed next this round if you play her. And this will obviously get killed. It has 2 HP. I might as well play this one. Dude has you very big HP. Yeah, I think this is fine. Do this one here. Take it on. Okay. See, minus one on the HP is not actually that bad. It stacks up a lot. Okay. I understand there's one damage across the board. It's pretty good for them. Attacks for free. Let's see. One person can make a difference or not. If you can give her scout, when you play her attack for free, she gets the attack token. There's no way to hide. Okay, directly face damage. I get two damage. She's doing she's doing decent damage across the board. Okay, is attack power filled by that one? That is super, absolutely super. I take the four damage. Can't really do anything anyways. What you looking for? Okay. So Vayne is three, yeah, is four. Yeah. I think this is a much better option. Just swing like this, impact hit, get rally and we attack again. More than we're doing it with Vayne. She blew up the entire board. Oh, Corina. Okay. One damage. The game's over technically at this point. Click this one. Just have to play it. You just have to keep two mana on, right? Yeah. Those who kill innocents are no more than fiends. You don't need. I don't need double rally. Actually, I could have done double right now. She got life steal. <laughs> Super random keywords. Uh, who do I use it against? Actually, I don't need to use it against her. Actually, yeah. Barry is a keyword. I think. I think. Okay. Barry is a keyword. 
The reason why Barry is uh, important because she will fire one extra barrage. Back to 26 HP. Okay. Oh, this guy dies, that's why I didn't heal back. Super. Now tumble hit again. And we get a rally again. Plunder rally is disgusting. Two mana rally plunder. So we just do this. I don't think we get. Uh, yeah, we don't get. We do. We won't get plunder because this guy is going to die during combat. This guy is going to die during combat. Okay. 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 Huh? Nah, it will because the barrages hit face. The barrages hit face. Yeah. We just rally. Oh damn! That was super. A pretty good one. Actually, nah. We can just finish them off. Heal back for full. Damn, 55 HP back to yeah. We went back to 35. Guys are super. Three star guys is even better. With three star and two star differences, she levels up super fast. Evolves super fast in three star. I remember when I played with her with two star, she was super slow. Equipment, uh, nah, it's fine. I don't want to take this one, and I don't want to take this one. I'll take more of the equipment. Let's get our power. Anything with keywords is crazy. Reduce the attack power even more. <laughs> Barrages will make it almost zero attack power. Okay. Lurkers have plus three. Okay. All allies have lurker is very nice. More, more EA is there. But this one is very nice. Play, I strike an enemy. Uh, seven mana is too expensive, in my opinion. I cost two less. Four mana, dude, impact. Not four mana, three mana. It's 200. If I buy that, I can't buy this one. Eh, it's a debate. Should I go this one or should I go this one? This one is way more valuable because uh, your units will immediately have lurk. And this one is a little uh, situational. Damn it, I would have taken this in a heartbeat. Do three mana, six, six. Impact and sand soldiers across the board. And sand soldiers would have random keywords. Okay. Ethereal remitter or shop. This is epic shop. We need. 300 gold, which we'll exactly have when I go for. I don't want to go for a return emitter. I don't really have anything in the epic level to give it up. Yeah, I don't have. I don't want to give anything in the rare level. Okay. We are facing up against the TX. And we'll have enough gold to buy the rare part in the next pit stop. Exactly enough. Uh, throw this away. Keep this one. The reason I play the lurk thing is because this guy on the board will be lurk. We will get three, at three keywords in turn one. See, dude is like already 4-3. Why didn't he turn into a squirrel? Weird. Yeah, why didn't he turn into a squirrel? It's a good question. So just play this one. Look at this. On turn one, we are we are already we have already evolved. How is that not nutty? Just give it here. I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna look for quick attack or uh challenger. Challenger is nice one. They're in for a surprise. Just do this. Don't wanna take attack in that one one, but definitely wanna take this one out. It's nice. Get flash bomb in. Cars is coming in next attacking turn. We just have to survive this turn. Yeah, for some weird reason the first turn the squirrel wasn't there. Weird. It's fine by us. Go next. I'll play Kaisa. Alex for free. Oh damn it! I wanted the life steal from them. Rally is here. We'll just play this. Attacks for free. Barrages everything on the board. And every hit that we do will reduce the attack power of the enemy by two, not one. She doesn't have that many keywords, so she got life steal. Uh, region. There we go. Super. Oh, we didn't actually hit the face. Now we will. Can we? Uh, I will take faded from her. This guy. He will grow as well as she will get faded. I'll do this. Because she does the maximum damage. 
And she doesn't have uh, overrun, right? So maximum damage should be attacking here. I think I could put the bullet here as well. So again, she will grow because she has faded. I think that should finish them off, right? 30 damage. 32 damage. Oh, because the Parach is hit for two. Oh yeah, because she her attachment is that one. I forgot about her, her attachment. Her attachments make spells and skills do one damage extra. Barrages do two damage. Yeah, super. Dominating performance by Kaisa. Uh, let's just go here. Let's see our last power. When you summon... Oh my god. Double random keyword. Holy shit. Absolutely, put it in one of the most naughtiest squad to get random keywords. Just gonna throw away something from the deck. Six mana is too expensive to throw this away. And we face up against a 4.5 star Victor Path. Yeah, super painful. We have 10 powers. That are absolute disgusting powers for guys. Uh, naughty across the board. Oh, it's fine. I'll, I will keep this girl oh, for obvious reasons. I just want to fish for Kaisa. The thing on the board will contribute to four keywords alone. Look at this. Four keywords alone on one unit on the board. Thank you. We'll just fish for Kaisa. Which we didn't skip. Damn, man. Okay. Alright, can turn. Oh, that's why. The first turn, they don't get turned into the thing. Okay, this is Victor's turn, right, Jay? They have evolved, dude. So I'll just play. I'll just play Bane. What's his stat line? Six. It's fine. I can just take it. It's fine. Work. The reason I played Bane is because I actually want the tumble to go down on the board, on the hand. That's why. And I want to do it as fast as possible. Okay. We go next. Yeah, no Kaisa. Okay. Might as well put it in front because they're dying. I don't want to take the damage for free. Did this one? An elusive. Did this one? Pretty super. One of them will get. Yeah, yeah. It's fine by us. She got quick attack. So just swing. We want to dish out as much damage as possible, as fast as possible. You want to give them a chance to double up anything. Yeah. I don't know why they took the full damage. Turns out possible. Like this one? Oh, it could cut, yeah. Probably gonna attack with this dude. Dude has overwhelm. If I attack with anyone else, they will probably get blocked. This guy, though, is another exception. Okay. We'll have the tumble again, and you can attack with this guy again. Oh, never mind. He's gonna get turned into a squirrel. I think I can just attack with Kaisa. Uh, yeah. Vain. Because she has quick attack. And attachment, obviously. Okay. Can't take that thing. Yeah, super. She doesn't have overrun. That's sucky. But she cannot be blocked freely. And from next turn, we'll have Tumble ready. Okay, there we go. This guy will get an epic, like, spell or something. I don't think you can attack. We have a loser blocker on our side. And now we don't. Yeah. Yeah, just kill this one then. He life steals. So just play this one. And just full swing. We have our uh, yeah coming in. Yeah, tumble, free tumble coming in. And we didn't even get guys in the last fight. Okay, it's fine. Attack with everything. Exert super pressure across the board. Challenger is by whom? Who has Challenger? Vayne is the one who has Challenger. Super. I think this should do it. There's no way they can block it, can they? Nope. There we go. Vayne absolutely carrying us in the last fight. And, and the, there was another fight that Vayne carried us as well. The support squad carrying us. Super nutty squad, super nutty powers, super nutty support squad. 15-13. I don't know. She has like 10 keywords on her. Uh, this is actually brilliant. 
Yeah, I only took uh, Vayne because of the free attack, but it's fine. Okay, the 4.5 star Victor Path, the weekly challenge done with our 3 star Kaisa. 4400 XP, nice. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, hey, okay, champion champion power discussion times. Oh, she got some. Okay, wait, what? Okay, she does have a free attack. Okay, anyways, this is our uh, Kaisa. She has two. Uh, a rare attachments all spells and skills to one extra damage the reason i have this is because level two barrage fires are skills so that means her barrages do two damage each for every keyword she has which is absolutely not the across the board and of course the next one is uh i guess, I guess lauren blade rack gives all allies challenger as long as guys is on the board and of course a free attack because when uh whenever this attachment is whenever you summon her she attacks for free if you summon a level up kaisa she attacks for free fires the barrage then you attack again fire as the fire as the project an absolutely monstrous combo this uh, free attack on kaisa of course the powers that we had welcome gifts when you summon an ally granted a random keywords this entire deck revolves around random uh, keywords and this is two so each unit has two random keywords and on, on top of evolves and everything it's pretty not pretty disgusting across the board these two powers actually leveled us up especially for the last few fights you saw of course all allies have uh all allies that cost three or less are lurkers again revolves around keywords lurk is a keyword you definitely want it in the deck when you dam damage an ally it reduces attack power by the damage you do and also we have two of them and it counts as for the uh, uh kaisa's barrages and Kara kaisa's barrages has two damage so each time a barrage hits a unit it loses two attack power and there's two of them so they use four attack power for one barrage that's absolutely nutty across the board uh, of course, this is the enemies have minus one. It's not the greatest, but it did stall uh, the game in few fights, specifically the red fight. Enemies having less attack power means you take less face damage. It stalls the game a little. It is somewhat significant. Of course, uh, game starts summon uh, sting officer, which always got uh, silence. But nevertheless, as you, it's it's elusive. It's contributing towards one uh, keyword, which is one out of six for uh, evolve. Evolve needs six total keywords, and uh, separate keywords, and this provides one right off the bat which is nice of course this guy says i guess it's three star power two star power this guy says three star power round start grant the strongest ally a random uh, positive keyword of course this guy says two star power every game such you get one extra mana and allies with three plus positive keywords get plus two plus two and of course game such you heal in excess for two let's support it